Hello everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here and today we're going to be having a little bit of fun, uh, at least for myself anyway, but still at the same time learning how to uh, you know, draw an animal, but we're going to do it in kind of like a Disney-esque type thing, basically turn it into a cartoon character. So all you're going to need is a pencil, an eraser, or just the eraser on your pencil, it doesn't matter, and a sheet of paper. We are going to use these pictures right here of one of my dogs. His name is Obi-Wan. Uh, he's a French bulldog, but we're going to have some fun today and kind of cartoonize him a little bit in these little poses. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the one on the top left. Okay, So I'm just going to build out the structure. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with a circle. He's got a very rounded head. So I'm going to lightly sketch out the circle and you should do the same because we're going to do some erasing. Okay, so I'm just going to build out the shapes first and just kind of set everything up. Um, you know, we have our ears. Uh, French Bulldogs have really big ears. So I'm going to put those in first. Put this one in on the second side over here. Uh, be behind his head. And you know, we can obviously adjust sizes and things later. So I'm just kind of laying in that foundation. Um, we're going to have his shoulders here. Me down into his leg. Uh, just really just focus on just building those shapes out. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of have that shape in there like that. And we have the lower part of his body here. And on the other side, shoulder and we're just building those legs up and turn it around okay and then we have his back leg the way he's sitting is kind of funny he's kind of sitting on my lap there um, Start up a little higher. We're gonna need to move that forearm up. Okay. So we'll go ahead and bring his leg back. I have to use a little foreshortening just to kind of make this shape in there. We have his other leg kind of starts over here, and uh, it's always kind of funny because he's a little bit on the super flexible side so it's always crazy to us how he can change his leg shape okay so now that we have the basic of everything done now we can focus on building up that face so we're going to start here up at the top from like where his nose is just so we have a vague outline of where that goes now, when it comes to uh, like Disney-like characters, one of the main things they do with their animals is they give them more human-like features and tend to make the eyes a little bit bigger, just so it looks more cartoony. Okay, so we're gonna make his eyes a little bit bigger than usual. All right, so now I have the eyes set in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on his nose. So I'm going to build up the shape of his nose. Now with the dog nose kind of smushed in, so it's not like a normal dog. French Bulldogs usually have a smushed in face. I know they're breeding them now to have a different look. But we're going to have that in there for his nose. And we want to get that smile in there 
Okay, so we want to kind of bring that back. And then we can round that up towards the head here. Okay. So I can bring that back. Come to the other side. We're going to round that out. Alright, and come up with that. And bring that up to his face too. Like that there. Okay. So we have our mouth. Now we can come from where this curve is at. We can come right below it and kind of stretch that out. And again, I'm still kind of sticking light with everything. I'm going to come from the other side over here. So I'm going to come down just a little bit more. And come out. Erase out that whole middle section so we can get that tongue in there. Okay, so now that I have that, I can come in here uh, where the tongue starts and bring that out with a curve and come in this way. And then we want to kind of curve it up like this. sides and we can kind of fill in that upper area where it's darker okay so now we want to get that mouth now we could make it short like it is in there but again we're going for kind of a cartoony look so we want to kind of stretch it just a little bit okay same thing over here we want to stretch it just a little and turn that up Okay, so now I have that set up. I can come down here below the tongue. He's kind of blocking his kind of like chin line. So we want to kind of start out here on the side. So I'm going to have like a little curve in right here. And then have that stretch back. And kind of clean that up. And go on the other side over here. And do the same thing. It kind of starts here. It has a little kind of like curve to it and then stretches back goes past the face okay so now we want to do the eyes now we don't have to put them in the exact same spot um, but we want to really make sure that they're big so we can come in here and round an eye and we're going to make it kind of look up towards us a little bit. Okay. So then we have that eye in there. And come in here to the other side. Now he's got kind of a marble eye, which means it's kind of like in half. Um, but we don't have to showcase that. Just because we're not coloring it anyway. Okay, so that would be the eyes looking towards us. Now the key thing here is going to be to give it that kind of cartoon look, we have to give it kind of a human expression. So a way to help define that would be with the eye section. So like, see, I, he doesn't really have eyebrows. But we can take the shape, though, of the eyes. And we can use that to make a shape on the face. it look like he's happy. So we can kind of turn that a little bit and do the same thing on this side. Come out and just really define that eyebrow region. So like that's one way you could do it. Another way would be you could actually just 
give him eyebrows <laughs> if you wanted to. But we're just gonna leave that like that for now. Um, we'll go ahead and push this head back some more. So we're gonna use this line back here because the head's kind of turned. So we're gonna come back and put this curve in. up there and we kind of go up with it we come down we got like a little forehead wrinkle we can bring that over and really pull that side out actually let's cut it off like right here so we keep that head looking like it's turned so we'll race out and sketchiness inside of there. Now this part I'm going to disconnect so you don't want to look too much like a skull. So we're going to bring that down just a little. Okay, and then I can bring that cheekbone out some more. Drop that down. doing that we can go ahead and stretch this too so let's bring this bottom line out and if you need to pause the video please do so um, just so you can keep up okay and we can kind of disconnect right here okay so now I'm gonna really work on shaping those ears so we don't want like this line to kind of cut off all the way so I'm going to raise that back just a little bit and we can use this to help shape the outside of our ears we come up and round that out and as we bring it down we can add a little fold in there okay so what we can do is to kind of show that you know he has an inner ear we can either turn it and give it an edge or you can come in here and do things like this where you kind of put some hair in there and just give it a slight edge right there in the front. Okay, we can do the same thing over here on the side. Just kind of turn it, give it an edge. Uh, we want to come in here and add a pupil so we can fill that in. come over here to the same side, do the same thing. You can just add in a pupil here. Now if we really want to sell that kind of cartoony look, what we can do is we can come in here and erase out a small part of the eye and put in a white circle. do the same thing on this other side. We put in a circle here. Let's see how that brings them alive just a little bit more with some characteristics on there. Now we really want to get these uh, these wrinkles in here. Okay, so we have this line here kind of separates. We want to come down. Now we don't want to be too detailed with it uh, just because it'll start pulling it more on the real side and we don't want that so now I'm going to come here and we're going to add another wrinkle right here off the eye so we can erase that inside part right there so we can kind of turn that up that way fold it down so that means we can bring this up just a little bit higher. Okay, so we can come this way with it. I want to bring another wrinkle down. Clean that up. Come pull this back. Okay. 
So that, for the most part, takes care of our face. Just need to do this other ear over here. So I'm going to come on this side. We don't want it to come straight off. We want to kind of have that curve to it. So we want it to come up. And go over. And we can go down with it at an angle. And we have that come down into the face. So I'm going to actually cut that shorter right there. And since it's turned a little bit, we can give it a little a little bit of an edge. So right here we have this. We want to kind of come up. Turn it. And we can erase this part out in the middle. Okay. And again, if we wanted to, we could add a little bit of fur down in there just to give us some separation. up the inside. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go around this real quick. I'm going to put some pressure. I'm going to refine these edges just so I can really see my face now. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same with the eyes. I'm going to come around it. And I'm going to kind of thicken up this top edge here. Again, it'll help bring out those eyes to look a bit more cartoony. Okay, and then I want to solidify that line for the eye right in here. Okay, so I can use my shape that I got. I can actually probably bring this back up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the other side the same. I'm going to kind of Darken it up and refine it. And I'm going to go around the eye. Kind of thicken that up just a little bit. Get that bottom part. And then the rest is just refining those last few lines. So for the nose here, what we can do is we can leave draw this kind of like a white oval right here and I can go ahead and just fill it in we don't have to see all the detail of the nose we can just see the shape of it and leaving that little white glare help it look a little bit more on the cartoony side okay so again I have my tongue here my mouth so I'm just going to go through and refine that lines of our mouth here. Okay, and we kind of do the inside of the mouth this way. We can fill that area in, kind of thicken up around there, and we come the other side and do the same thing. Kinda thicken up that area. Okay, so now he's got a little bit more personality. So, we're essentially just cartoonifying the dog. Now, I'm going to put a slight little neck roll here on the side of the head. So, I'm going to go ahead and refine that. And then I'm going to build that shoulder out. So, I got this little curve that comes in here. And the rest of this is kind of a back. Uh, merging with the arm from the angle that's at. So as that comes in, we have our leg come out and take this kind of rounded shape. Okay. And then we're going to curve our paw out this way. Now I'm going to keep this straight just because of the angle. And then turn it back in leg gets skinny at the wrist and it starts to come up. Then I can come out from here and make this shape. Okay. 
So an easy way to do pause is we can put curves in here. Just kind of round the bottoms. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come to the other side over here the side of the face. I'm going to curve that shoulder down. Build off the arm a little bit. And he has a muscular forearm coming out. Have that curve down. Okay. Now I'm going to come on this inside. I want to kind of give it like a little roll. So we're going to roll a little bit here. And we're going to turn it and go down towards the foot this way. Okay. Then I'm going to take it. And we're going to add. Let's erase this back just a tad. Okay, we're going to add this kind of like a backward C looking shape, but we're going to stretch it a little bit. Okay, and we're going to have this little piece of foot come out here. We're going to turn it. And then we don't have to match it up perfectly, but we're going to stretch it. I'm going to curve it down. Might want to make it a little bigger just so it seems like it's even with the other side. So we're going to turn it some more. Come up. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to kind of round that bottom. And clean up the inside. If you haven't done so, just kind of refine those edges. Alright, so we're just going to kind of erase that out. Okay, now we want to uh, get that stomach shape in there. So we're going to start probably more along this side here. We're going to round that. We'll put a slight curve to it, just like that. And we're going to turn it this way. Now what we can do with this here is we can take this line and instead of leaving it like that, we can add these little shapes to it. That way it kind of uh, looks like fur a little. And then we can come across it. That way. Find that first shape in his body. So we have that separation. Let's probably not curve that too much. Let's let's straighten that out and just have the line run down like that. Okay. So we're gonna come from this little fold here. Curve that down and come out. And I'm gonna clean up all the sketchy lines in that area. Okay, so now we have from this neck down here, we can we can add in this kind of shape here. Okay, and then I can take it from here. I can finish adding white fur patches. Okay. We also have it slightly up here on the nose so we can kind of turn that in there. And turn that there. So we know that that area would be white so if you wanted to color it later you could. And we have this really thin strip that kind of turns out and goes up the head. Go thin and turn, go up the head. Alright, so that pretty much takes care of that. And they have his back leg coming out. So we're going to kind of round that down like this. And then I'm going to come out behind with this little ankle like shape. Okay, turn that in. 
and I'm going to stretch that foot out like that. So we're going to come and do the other one. We're going to come turn this in. Just really curve that inward right there. All right, and I'm going to come at an angle like this down to the other foot. And again, we just have that curved shape. We want that to be the bottom of this foot, so let's turn this inward like that. And we can use that shape there. Okay, and then we'll put one more toe. So I'm going to clean up that sketchiness again and go around. Okay, so we have that other leg. And then this one's kind of wrapping underneath, so we can see it coming out the bottom of his body. So he's kind of turned sideways a little bit. Okay. And then as it comes through, it's starting to bend this way. Can see some of the paw here. So let's stretch that out that way. And then we can add our other ones because it's going behind it. Just like that. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could come in here and add little details to help bring the, the eyes out to make them buggier. Uh, you can come down here and add in an extra reflection or two. Like that. But you don't have to. Okay. You can leave it just like that. And then we're going to move on to our profile or our headshot. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. So we're going to move to the second picture on the right. And we're just going to kind of focus more on the head. We'll include some of the body, but our main focus is just going to be the head on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to start with that. Let me move it over. But I'm going to start with that basic circle. So I'm going to come over here and get my circle out. Just got to kind of be careful. I'm getting close to <laughs> to the edge here, so. Let's just do that. If we have to, if we have to draw it into the other one, it's okay. This is more like just having fun and sketching it out anyway. Um, so I'm gonna pull it back. So let's bring that circle back over here. Let's go back a little bit more. Turn this in. Okay. So we'll use that some of those odd shapes in there. Okay, so I have my head shape. Um, we can kind of build off and get our shape of the face at least. Like I said, we'll probably adjust that. Um, come out this way. Let's get that head shape there. Okay, we want to come back from the head. So, kind of comes back. So our ears are probably going to start about here. And I know the image cuts it off, but you should be able to still figure out where that shape is going. Okay, so we're going to come out this way. Go up. Again, if we need to adjust the ear sizes, we can. Probably tone it down to about like that. Uh, and then we want to come, our ears coming down here, so let's turn it this way some. And now that we have that, we have the other ear uh, right back this way. It kind of has a curve shape to it. Okay. So I'm just going to round that back. Start over here. Kind of go back with it there. Okay, then we have about right here. We have our neck 
basic shape. So we know about what size. on that area. Okay, so let's start building up the face. So the first thing I want to do is really work on getting this mouth and head shape in here. Okay, so we know it comes back from the ear, so I'm going to go ahead and come up. And we're going to start really looking at how the head curves. So I'm going to come in, and we're going to kind of curve out a little bit for the eye ridge on that side, and bring that in. So I can erase that out so I can see that better. Just kind of clean up that area. Okay. And then it kind of comes forward. So it's, we're going to round it this way. Okay. And I'm going to turn it just towards the front where the nose goes. So I want to kind of curve that down. And then I'm going to kind of take my nose out. Bring it back in some since it's flatter. shape there. Then I'm going to take this piece here, since our nose kind of folds this way, we're going to come right off the edge here, turn that down, okay, and I'm going to run it, now I'm going to put a slight little crease right here, so we have that separation at a three-quarter view. And I'm going to turn this, Make sure it's kind of cartoony, so I want to have that curve come back a little bit farther. But I'm going to come back forward a little. I'm going to round it this way. So I'm going to put a slight roundness to it and come out. Now, what I want to do is we want to have a slight tongue shape here. Okay, so I'm going to bring that back. and have that shape. And what that'll do is I can clean up this outside area. And that'll help us sell which way its head is turned. So I can come in here and we can put like a very minimal like slight tooth shape right there. And we can come from the side of the mouth here and widen that out and curve it back. there. Okay, and then on this side, we can do the same thing. We can add a tooth shape. Okay, we can bring back that gum line just a little bit. We don't need to do it too much. We have our tongue right here. Okay, so it should look like that. Now we're going to take it and Nice and clean up this inside area. Okay, so I'm going to come in from here up at the top. We want to put that that fold that's in there. Okay, so we have our eye and it starts about like right here, so it kind of turns. Right, and when that turns in, we have a wrinkle line that comes out this way. down more towards the nose here and we can kind of round that back like that and then we can turn it down this way and we can add that one little wrinkle back that Curves set up. I can 
come off this part right here and we can make that chin So now we have that. I want to kind of start building up this area of the face. Okay. So I really want to get that eye in there. So if we come back from our wrinkle, right, we have like a slight turn here. And we have one more wrinkle that comes close to the side of the face. Okay. And then from right there, so we want to keep it closer to this side. Turn that. Okay. And this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my white circle first. Okay, so once you have this, I'm going to add our white circle like right here in the corner. Okay, so you're going to leave that white and then you're just going to kind of come off of it and make the pupil. So now that we can see our head shape, okay, we're going to have a slight visual of the eye here. Very slight. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start setting up this ear in here. Okay. So our head, it goes and comes back and kind of drops down this, so we want to kind of make this point here. Alright, so now I'm going to have my ear come in to the head just a little, not a lot, just a little, and put this slight to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and refine that. I'm going to bring that out, turn it just a little bit. do is we want to come from here, right? So we have our jawline, okay? Then I have this part of my head that I need in there. So we're going to connect from here. I'm going to erase out this part of the ear. Closer, I'm going to kind of put a second level of hair. Now I'm just kind of doing like these small zigzaggy pieces. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go up the side of the ear that way with that. All right, you can put a slight fold in there if you wanted to. This depends how much detail you want in there. Me personally, I'm going to leave that out. Okay, I might put see what a curve down would look like. Like this. I think I like that, so I'm going to leave that in there. 
Okay. And now I want to do the other side of his head. So again, we have this kind of round down shape. Okay. And our ear comes out. And come out. Go up and over. Bring that in. Now that I have that, I want to start building them. Now, bull, French Bulldogs have thicker necks, so I'm going to use this here and kind of bring that down, put a little curve to it, and turn it in. So we have our neck shape. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more this way. Okay. So if you haven't done so, Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and go around. Let's refine our line work. Okay. So I'm gonna put our tongue here. We got our tooth. And our mouth. So we can fill that in right here in this area. Like that. Kind of thicken this up against the gums. Find our line around that way. Let's really define our um, wrinkle lines. We'll probably pull this one down some. And again, I can come up to this area. Put that little circle in there. If we want to give it some character, we can start by adding an extra line there to kind of help sell the face. Okay, so now I can bring this down, turn this way, and we can stretch out his chest. Come on that back side over here, right about right here, and curve that neck back just a little, okay? Then we'll swoop that back like that. So I'm going to clean up all this inside area just like that, okay? If there's any other areas that need cleaning, like around the head, inside the ears, we're going to go ahead and do that, refine any line work that still looks kind of sketchy. Okay. So you're still pulling the same features from the dog, and however little or more detail that you add is completely up to you. So I am going to make this part of the leg come down just so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Doesn't have to be the whole thing. Just kind of bringing it in. Go down foot. So we just leave that there like that. We can do this part of the leg. Again, just so we can show a different aspect of the dog. Okay. So that takes care of that one. do is if you guys want to continue like take a screenshot of the dogs um, you can either choose to do the left or the right whichever one we don't do and I just finish it out uh, later so I'm going to go ahead and do that third one down here and we're going to start with the head So I'm doing the bottom left. I'm going to start with 
with the head. Now, if you notice, I'm making a little bit more ov stretched ovular shape. It's because the way the gravity is all pulling on his skin as he's laying down. Okay. So I have my head. I want my ears to kind of come out just a little. And we're going to curve it out. worry about drawing the foot on the bottom. So we have that part of the ear there. And come out from behind it. Okay. And then with my ear coming out here, I'm seeing that my head's going to need to kind of come up a little. So let's stretch that out. Come across this way. shape. Next thing we're going to do, we have that shape in there, we want to get the rest of the body. Okay, so we can come from here on our head. We need to kind of make that shape a little bit more refined. So it looks more like the face here. So I'm going to bring that out and kind of curve it down. here and in another slight wrinkle but this one's going to kind of stretch across okay and then I'm going to come out with my shoulder here curve that in okay so part of that's going to be blocked off by the body okay so now let's come in here and let's work on this face so we're going to come in have our eyes closed, so we need to kind of put these little arches in here on both sides. Okay, and I can come in here and I can put my nose. Alright, so now we could focus on shapes like this for our eyes. Okay, and then we really want to define this top region here. Okay, so I'm going to erase out this part. And I'm going to bring the head over. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come out and define the shape of the eye here. So we can clean that up. Just like that. All right. So now I want to come out from underneath the nose. Okay. So I'm going to kind of arch that down and curve it back. over and we're going to turn down and come out this way. We can stop just before the edge of the face. So let's go ahead and erase this bottom piece out. I'm going to put a slight curve here. Okay. So I'm going to come from the eye. Let's come in between here and get that wrinkle. So we can get that first part here down. Again, we really want that to look like the eyes are closed, so let's go ahead and thicken this line up. Okay. And then we can come off just a little on the wrinkles here. Bring that down. Okay. Then 
I can come from the eye here, and I really want to put a turn to that. Kind of curve it. Like that. Okay. And now I'm going to refine this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that, that little shine on the top of the nose. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Now, we can see from the, the white stripes and stuff, we can kind of see where that face is going to be. So let's do this. Let's come off the edge here and kind of come in. Give a little definition on the side of the face there. And we can come down this side. Go this way. Right? And then kind of turn this way. The underside of the chin. So we don't have to define it too much, okay, to give that impression that he's laying on his back like that, okay, so this other one, we can go ahead and we can draw in the paws, shape here. We're going to create that illusion that is going downward. So we just want a slight turn here. And one more. Okay, and we can come over here. And you can go ahead and refine those edges too. We'll go ahead and come here and we're going to turn down. And inward. And then have the rest of that body kind of turn that way. Okay, and then the rest of the arm is coming down. Here. Okay. So we just have a slight shape to it. A little curve with our dew claw right here. And then we just have shape and kind of disappear back that way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and refine these. Okay. Then we can bring this back some. So let's use this to kind of come back like that. I probably brought the arm over a little bit too far here, so if you want to adjust that, you can. <laughs> um, just to save for time now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to define these lines here. Okay, have my ear here, so we give it a slight edge, but it's pretty flat on the floor, so I can put some hair here. this line to define the face, come around to the ears, that way, okay, so we can do that, uh, same thing, we kind of get that white line shape, so we can kind of turn out, now you don't have to add this part if you don't want to, okay, but we're going to add our white patch, that he has on his body. Okay, we're going to come out from the shoulder here. Curve back. And then we have white on the nose. small turnout to where it gets wide up at the top. Now we did
did forget to do that up here, so I do want to add that in. Okay, so we have this little bit of a white patch, right? Comes out from here under his chin, so it kind of comes down this way, comes up, goes out. Now go back and show the other one again, just in case you need to catch up. But I want to put white patch in there to stay consistent. Okay, so that's going to kind of drip down this way to the shoulder, come in, and drop down into the body that way. I'll take care of that one. Then we have our white here on the nose, so we want to kind of come here, and it runs right up and goes up to the top. It's really thin and it spreads out to the back of the head. And we do the same thing right there. Okay. So again we had our bottom one down here. That's how that looked in case you need to. I need to come back here and refine some of the lines here. So, this is how you can kind of cartoon your own dogs or anything. So, what I would say is go ahead and find pictures of your own animals. It can be a mouse, dog, cat, squirrel. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, just go in there and uh, try to see if you can add that little cartoony essence to it. And I hope you had fun. And I will, until then, keep sketching. And I will see you in the next one, okay?